and welcome <laughs> to Shadow of Judgment. I'm sorry, I did that the, the air sign, so you know, everybody's getting some. Everybody, how are my lovely little queerants doing tonight? Guess what? Shadow of Judgment tonight. This is your weekly for anybody who's new. This is where you look at the nooks, the four corners, what goes around the circle, and also what goes the opposite. The shadows, the subconscious, the things you might not know about. That's going on for your week. We just got through with air, so now we have fire, water, and earth left. Who is next? Fire? Air, fire signs, you have the Knight of Wands. Y'all are moving early to take some passion, or y'all are moving to get some booty? One of the two. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check the charts. If this resonates with you a good deal, if not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game, right? Doesn't matter what it says, as long as you don't believe in it. Or maybe it'll surprise you. You just... Boop your nose and away you go. Aries, you're up first. You got the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands reversed. Feeling like a loser with the past relationship. Then we have the King of Pentacles right here being like, hey, someone owes me something. Or at least that's what he thinks anyway. I don't know. This could also be someone he's a mooch or two, but we'll find out as we go along. Y'all might have grown up to be lovers. And this victory right here, it just did not work. Um, then we have you sitting right... Yeah, you feel like you're owed something in all of this. And something just it didn't come to bring a victory to you in the way you thought it would. Let's see. Ooh, extra. Lots of extra. We'll put this one, this one, and this one down. And these three are definitely extra. Betrayal after someone was like, ooh. Someone was betrayed. They were given some bullshit, so they chose the door and they went a walk in, Aries. You know who you are. Remember! Or remember, because I don't know how I'm, I'm fucking talking today. Um. Crosswatchers, switch where you fucking need to. Everybody, take what's yours and leave everything else with a pound of salt. Right? Right. Aries, there's something but there are people from your past or somebody you're dealing with from your past where you guys have grown up now to be lovers but something was a bad judgment call. Making somebody feel like they don't know where to go when it comes to a love situation, right? We got the king of pentacles right here acting like he's owed some shit. Along with you just sitting there all pretty just being like, where is my stuff? And you are restraining that beast within you. Even though you really want to give somebody a piece of your mind when it comes to this love thing that should have been offered a while ago. Now, you don't feel victorious and you feel like nothing's working. So you definitely want to cut the shit out and give somebody a peace of mind. Oh, yeah. All right. Why is this Ace of Cups so important to you, Aries? Queen of Pentacles. Someone could be paying way too much attention to the coin rather than what's around her. And she might feel like she's driving people away victoriously, but in truth, it's like she didn't mean to, but she's going with it. You know, like, ah, I fucked this up. I might as well wing it. And the person she did this to is just like, well, you know what? Fuck it. I, I, I really don't want this shit anymore. Never mind. So, mm. matters like somebody in the middle while two people are fighting over the decision to be made. It's just like, you know what? I'm leaving it up to you guys. Because I don't see us coming together to share a world, period. Or you're not, I don't know. It's almost like you want to share, you don't want to share the world with the victor. Because you're not victorious, right? Wow, really, dude? He just went... Dude. 
chill with the scraping and shit. But that's your shadow Aries. Um, I feel like someone's just sticking you in the middle of shit for no fucking reason, dude. Honestly. Which normally is in your place, but it's whatever. Okay. Leo, you're up next. What's going on for your shadow this week? Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Leo. What's coming up for your shadow this week? We got... You're trying to go to calmer waters. Or maybe you're transporting people to calmer waters. Trying to calm people down. While dealing with a new beginning. A new start. Something got ignited somewhere. And there's a lot of justice involved, Leo. Ooh, boy. Uh, you are traveling with some truth on you. And with this new start, it feels like you betrayed yourself. And that's got you feeling all sorts of things, right? It's like justice is aggravating the fuck out of you and you're just waiting for it to come up impatiently. And just be like, where is it now? I want it now. It belongs to me. You know? Like a tower is avoided with you like moving more towards the truth for calm. And over here you have to learn how to balance out things in order to deal with this uh, betrayal that's gone on with you. And you feel like you're impatient enough to leave, you know? And then we got the page of pentacles right here and there's your card, strength. You're holding some shit back while you're waiting. Leo! You're trying to move the calmer waters with the truth in order to avoid a tower, but you're just offering just so much to someone who might be walking away from you. Or someone's trying to offer something to you that you're trying to walk away from, but at the same time, you're kind of trying to uh, restrict yourself from that as well. Hmm. It's like you're really impatient for justice, too. Like you're wanting something to be balanced with the scales. But it's like you're so impatient about it, you're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna leave. I'm, I'm tired of waiting for this shit, right? But it, at the same time, it's like this new beginning that you're trying to start might actually end up hurting you more than anything because like you needed to focus on balance. And unfortunately, you were possibly more concentrating on restricting yourself or maybe protecting yourself or being way too passive because you're worried about people liking you or whatever especially with the page of pentacles over here what tower are you trying to avoid okay that's cool um fighting demons you've already defeated because you already know the secrets without having to go to them there's a lover's situation right here where you're just trying to embrace somebody's dark side best than anything. That's your card again. Instead of restricting, you're embracing it, right? There might be somebody here who's not letting you have a break or you're not letting them have a break, not letting things die. But there isn't enough communication to um, feel fulfilled in this, you know? like, And the communication needs to be about like, you know, being a mommy and a daddy to a baby lizard, you know, having that new beginning, like, it's like, um, you kind of need to learn how to deal with the shit that you don't want to deal with in order to deal with it in a more effective way, right? Right. I, and, I, and I feel like, Leo, with a lot of this shit, it's just like... You want to move the calmer waters because you know a thing or two, but at the same time, it's like your patience might get to you. And then you'll just be like, fuck it. And then like you'll walk away, but then it'll end up like you should have stayed and embraced what was because then you would get the beginning that you're actually wanting. Um, so this is essentially calling for you to ask for patience this week. But that's your shadow. So be patient. Don't lose your shit. 
essentially. Because I feel like that's a potential for you guys right now. Especially with the lion here. Okay, Sagittarius, it is your turn for your shadow. Yay. Sagittarius! Where's my Sag and my Sag rising in the house? Yeah. Because I'm Sag rising and I'm awesome. Sag is also, my Saturn is also in Sagittarius too. So, like, that's also awesome. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius, you are sitting there trying to calmly judge everything this week. Well, someone needs to make an offer to you. But it's like you both got your back turned to each other, so it's just like, what the fuck? Oh, that's because someone got caught up in some sneaky shit. Mmm. You're waiting on justice before you make a move. And this delivery is death. Nice and slow, right? Someone got caught up in sneakiness when it comes to the home and shit. Trying to actually sell things and everything. Mm. Even the calmer waters. Temperance reverse. Ace of Wands. Two more, and then we will continue. Oops. Yeah, you're just trying to kill a relationship at this point. You're just done. You are FR freaking. Oh, you done with commitment and hanging around when you don't want to. Damn, Zad, you're just out. You're completely upfront about it. Well, you guys have been saying that you've been upfront, just done with whatever relationship you've been dealing with for a while anyway. Like, oh my god, the comments. Uh, like, I appreciate you all a lot. It's just kind of like, damn. Uh, it made me realize I act more like a Sagittarius than what I thought. <laughs> Anyway, so you guys are wanting to judge everything accordingly, but you want justice to come in. So you can make that judgment, but until then, you want to move forward. Unfortunately, it feels like you're stuck in a place that you don't want to be, or you're wasting time, or you're trying to look like a martyr, but, you're, but you think that the right thing to do is to get away from shit, right? Also, over here... Someone might have got caught up in their sneaky shit when it comes to involve the home, maybe business, maybe family, whatever it is. Uh, in order to try to start some new beginning, but that new beginning leaves everybody hung up. You got a slow moving offer, which is really death in the skies in order to end this shit. That's your card, Sagittarius. Temperance reversed. You are completely impatient and you just want to be done and over with this shit. Point blank match. What's keeping you hanging on, specifically, on the hanged man? Because maybe if we know why you're still, like, sitting here wondering shit, we will figure some things out. You still want to give your other wreath to some bitch. You're just like, I am the victor here. You can be my Betty. I expect boobs at 3.45 p.m. on the dot every day, you know? But it's like this person it feels like you got cheated out of the job Like you did a lot of work and then it feels like you didn't get as much pay as like a bushel of whatever it is that guy's carrying um, And then like out of nowhere like everything just packed up and left or you just decided to pack up and leave everything And this relationship just came to crumble based on some rhetorical shit Based on the fact that, like, someone was being really preachy. Based on the fact that somebody thought that, like, um... It's kind of like their experiences. They think that they're more experienced than you. Which is, like, funny, more or less, because you are the adventurer, Sagittarius. Like, you might be the last fire sign, but you're the first one to find weird shit. That's just how it is. But it's like, this person acts like... They know more than you. And even after you guys split, they keep throwing shit in your face and it's annoying. And it's just kind of like, okay, whatever. I don't care. You can, you can preach as much as you want. Nobody really gives a shit. 
You know, I'll drop one more. It's like I'm very curious about this uh, Hierophant. Already reversed, but now he keeps coming. Now he's coming back with a fucking book. So it's just kind of like, why are you coming back with a book? Like I'm gonna read the rest. Of like I'm gonna read the instructions. Like nobody cares about the instructions except for people who do. Um, you okay, Sagittarius? You're you're probably gonna just gonna be real quick with shooting him with an arrow in order to change perspectives. Like, this person could come up saying whatever it is they want to say, and as soon as they just start with their shit and you recognize it, you're just gonna shoot it down. Just be like, nah, we're changing the subject right now. What do you think about blue underwear and blue waffles? You know, you just go into that weird shit, right? But, fire signs, that's your shadow for this week. If you like this video, you may like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want with my videos. I really don't care. Um, I would greatly appreciate it, though. It's all up to you. Um, you want a personal? All the info is down in the description box along with the music I use for my channel as well. Love your faces. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.